My name is Chad Townsend. I'm a 23-year veteran of video games and television animation. Have you ever spent money on a really nice sketchbook and said, I'm only going to put the best sketches I possibly can in this book, and I'm going to fill it up with nothing but really great pieces of artwork from beginning to end, only to sketch one or two pieces in it, get bored with it, and put it away and forget about it. That's not what sketchbooks are for. They're for wrecking. You need to wreck your sketchbooks. What do I mean by that? I mean, just fill it, every single square inch of it, with the worst stuff you possibly can, as fast as you can. Not worrying about every precious little line. It's a place where you go to just study and practice and get your ideas down on paper. This is the stuff that the world is not going to see or is not supposed to see. So stop worrying about every little precious line. Just get in there and have fun. It's your place. It's your world. You can create whatever you want, however you want, and nobody's there to tell you how to do it. Get in the habit of carrying a sketchbook with you every day. Bring it with you whenever you leave the house. It's just like grabbing the keys to your car. Grab your sketchbook. Always have it on you. And always try to sketch in it at least 15 minutes a day. You know, athletes train every day. So why shouldn't professional artists train every single day? Put in the time. 15, 30, 60 minutes a day. Every single day. Get in the habit. I still carry my sketchbook with me everywhere. Back when my wife and I were dating, she used to joke that we had to get a reservation for three at a restaurant. One for her, myself, and the other for my sketchbook. I recommend having one that you have to hang on to. I don't recommend getting a really big giant sketchbook and I don't recommend putting one in your pocket. I've tried out one of those field notes size sketchbooks that fit inside a wallet and I found that I didn't use it at all hardly. I mean I would forget about it. It would just sit there in my wallet and it was just a clunky, clunky wallet. The kind of sketchbook I personally like using is one that is those little hardback ones you can buy at bookstores or any art supply. And I have a leather cover that it slots into so I can always replace it and keep filling up new ones inside it. Also, they're great for sitting on your bookshelf when you're finished. I like to to date and number them in order. Also, the hardback sketchbooks prevent you from ripping the paper out of them. And it's a good idea to get in the habit of not tearing up the sheets of paper in your sketchbook only so you can go back and see your progress and how much you've improved uh, since you you did fill that sketchbook so I'll go back and look at books from years ago and be pretty amazed with my progress also you might find a gem in those old sketches an old idea that you had forgotten about that you want to come back to today. 
a character or a story or a note or a pose. Sometimes I do gesture poses in my sketchbooks and I'll sometimes just take that little thumbnail and pluck it out and use it for a new piece that I'm doing. One of the personal habits I have is when I get to the end of a sketchbook, then I start going back and filling up the parts of the sketchbook that I did not draw in. So I'll go and find blank areas and start filling those spaces up. I also like to fill up a page as much as I possibly can because sometimes it's really a challenge to myself to try to pose and shape objects or whatever I'm drawing into that space and trying to make it fit like a puzzle. So it helps me uh, use that, that part of my creative imagination. As part of your training, let's say um, you're not very good at inking <clears throat> and you're using a crow quill or a brush, you can take a page out of your sketchbook and just fill it up over and over and over and over again, just every single inch of a page with one particular type of line. So curved lines, S-shaped lines, straight lines, thick to thin, just do it over and over and over and over again. It's kind of like the Mr. Miyagi version of comic book training. You know how Daniel LaRusso would paint the fence up and down, up and down, over and over and over again, and by the time he was finished, he was a master of that particular thing. So think about your sketchbook as your training ground. You know, if you want to get good at drawing hands, fill up a page of different hand gestures. You want to get good at posing? Draw stick figures. You know, if you can make stick figures look really dynamic and have life and movement, then you can draw any kind of pose later on down the road. It's really good training. Use your sketchbook as a place to practice emotion and character uh, development, like facial expressions. I see tons of really well-drawn comic books these days, but none of these guys are very good at emoting or having f good facial expressions. I also use my sketchbooks to write my stories thumbnail my comic books and you know even journal like if there's something that just pops in my head about a, a particular thing I like to write it down or character names and ideas or a great origin story that just popped in my head while I was at a baseball game other than my sketchbook my everyday carry consists of a blue Prismacolor pencil. I like drawing with those. I prefer those. A Micron pen, a Zero One, or these new ones called PN. Those are pretty cool. A small sharpener and a kneaded eraser. The sharpener fits in my metal pencil box. I've got this really nice, slim, pencil box that can easily fit in my front pocket and so the, the kneaded eraser fits in there quite well too. So I could get about three three pens and pencils in one of those little boxes. I've always had a passion for sketchbooks for years and years and years and I highly recommend carrying one around with you, getting in the habit. If you like what you saw here, comment below, write to me at my website, chadtownsend.com, follow me on Instagram, share with me uh, your sketchbooks. I want to see what you guys are doing.
remember, you don't have to draw perfect, just have fun and share it with your friends. And wreck your sketchbooks. Did you like my video? Awesome! Tap that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get more notifications for my next upcoming video. Click it. Smash, smash, smash. Click it, click, click, click it. Smash it. Click, 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 click it. Yeah.